All right, I just wanted to show you my solar energy system that I've installed on my mini camper. So I've installed two 100 watt solar panels from Renergy. They actually work really good. They charge up my battery really quick. Over here I got my battery. Now I kind of overkilled it, went way too big. This is a 200 amp hour battery. And the most I ever use is about 5% of this battery overnight. And that's running a CPAP machine and some fans and charging my phone and any other batteries I need to charge for cameras and whatnot. Um, for the solars, the panels, I got my pass through here going in and then for my battery, I have my pass through here on the wall. Now on the inside of the camper, I have the solar panels coming in through the ceiling here. They come down to my Renergy, I think it was a 40 amp MPPT charge controller. And then, so with all this wiring, it is all exposed right now. And I purposely did that, is I want to be able to access any wiring if there's any issues. So the way I ran it, I got my solar cables coming in, and they kind of loop down here, and then go into the charge controller. Now from the battery, or actually on the solar cables before the positive goes in through a breaker, a 40 amp breaker here, before it goes into the charge controller. Now with the batteries, or the battery, those coming through the wall here. Now you got from the charge controller to the battery and then back coming in, going to another 40 amp breaker and then to my fuse panel and then from my fuse panel they come down to this little box down here that I've put together into my rocker switch panel and right now I'm only using Two of the, these first two switches, the other two are if I want to add any else, anything else to the system. It's got two USB ports down there and the 12 volt cigarette lighter style plug in here. Now with the wiring, as you can see, like I said, it's all exposed. I got my rooftop vent fan. Uh, purchased off Amazon. This works really good. You get a lot of air movement through that. It helps a lot here in Arizona with the heat. And then the wiring goes up. Got my interior light here. This wire going out the wall here that goes to my awning LED lights. Now I still need to tidy up this wiring, clean it up. Um, and I also need to do some trim work here on the interior. As you can see, I don't have any corner trim yet. So far I've tested the camper out. It works really good. The fan works good. All the power. Now, my recommendation is if you're going to do on a mini camper or energy system, maybe if you're running an inverter for 110 power, maybe that 200 amp hour battery is a good choice. But for me, that was a lot of money that I probably didn't need to spend. So I kind of overkilled it on the... <laughs> 
overkill it on the power system here but I got plenty of power and I may end up adding an inverter we'll see but yeah these energy systems work really good very easy to install I'm not I didn't video the install I mean honestly it's kind of self-explanatory um, works great highly recommend it I'll add links in the description below for all the parts and pieces I ordered it, the whole system off Amazon so very easy to get the other thing I did with a lot of my with some of my connectors is I did these weather pack quick connects that way let's say if the fan burns out or quits working I need to change it out I don't have to cut and splice wiring I can just unplug it and take it out or if I need to work on it or whatever I can disconnect it there um, you know, other than that I just need to tidy up all the wiring here make it look nicer but yeah these this system is kind of overkill for my trailer build but you know the most I've used it was two nights now and by six in the morning you know my battery percentage was down to 95 percent and by seven in the morning it was fully charged so really happy with it highly recommend the energy system I've had so far good luck with it and I also put some where I live out in Arizona in the desert we get got these desert rats out here that like to climb in things so one thing to help is put underglow lighting and just leave that on that way at night keeps the rats from trying to climb in so this also have underglow lighting and that all runs off the same switch as my uh, my awning light down here but I don't let me know what you think in the comments sorry this isn't probably the best video of breaking it down but really happy with it